these are the photo papers I bought on Amazon. This one is uh, eight by eight point five by eleven, and this one is four by six. I couldn't find Epson, the Epson brand for this one, so I just bought HP, and this one is um, five by seven. So first, I'm going to test four by six. The photo paper needs to face down. Okay, before you print, you have to choose the right paper size. So this one is going to be four by six, click OK. And then paper type, I'll choose premium glossy. And oh, close. Now I'm going to hit print on my computer. This is a picture of the New York City, and I downloaded this from unsplash.com. Uh, I'm going to print this on the 4x6 paper and see how it looks. Now you can use the Epson app, uh, actually a couple apps. Uh, those apps allow you to edit the photos like what you do on your phone. Um, since this photo is downloaded, it's already been edited, so I'm just gonna click print instead of using the uh, Epson apps. This is how it looks. I say it looks pretty good. Now I'm showing you this picture under better light. You can see the color looks rich. Very good quality for home use. Of course, it's not like professional photo printers quality, but it's very, very um, good, I think. This photo is also downloaded from unsplash.com. 
uh, I'm going to print the letter size 8.5 by 11. Let's see how it goes. This is the 8.5 by 11 letter size photo. It looks really nice. So if you want even better quality, you gotta take good pictures, I mean, you got to use uh, good cameras. Uh, this photo is downloaded from the internet, but overall this picture looks really nice. I feel like I want to frame it. And this is the other one printed earlier. I say this printer is really good for home use. You want, if you want just to print some uh, photos at home or do some like simple projects, it won't let you down. But don't expect it to be like as good as professional printers because uh, it's going to be, you're going to be disappointed. 
I so far have printed some uh, family photos and I framed them. They look really nice. So, so yeah, if, if you want to have a printer that both can uh, be your office printer, also uh, can print photos. And this printer, I'd say, definitely will uh, satisfy you, especially when it comes with so much ink, you don't have to worry about ink. You can print however many photos or documents you want to. So, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope this video helps you make decisions uh, in terms of what kind of printers you want to buy. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.